Hello. Everything still is fine. That's good. It's nice to have you again. Um, hmm. Have you been up to anything since I saw you last? Yes, I ran for about an hour. Okay. Then wow. have a dinner, and then I here. Have a dinner. Had a dinner. Oh my God. Mm, a dinner. No, without a. Yeah. I had dinner. <laughs> had dinner. Yes. Good. What did you have for dinner? Mm. Oh my God, I don't know how to say in English. It's just oh. uh, some kind of milk, but it's a, a rough substance with bananas. Okay, mm. like a protein shake with bananas. Mm, something like that, but I ate it with spoon. <laughs> no drink, just ate it with spoon. Okay. Edson, I'm going to mute you because uh, there's a lot of noise. Uh, also, Julieta, welcome. Oh, Anna. Anna Belen, welcome to class. How's it going? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you. And you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. What have you been up to, Anna? Like, Amparo, uh, last week was the, the birthday of my old son. Then I was preparing a, a party at home with the family, preparing some, uh, some cakes, chocolate cake, <laughs> apple cake. Um, I was very busy, but um, next week I'm going to celebrate his birthday with his friends. Nice. In, in the cinema, um, I I have been celebrating his birthday many days. <laughs> it's the birthday month. <laughs> okay, my eldest son. My uh, eldest son. Okay. And then chocolate. Can you repeat chocolate? Chocolate. Hmm? Chocolate and busy. 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 Good. Okay. Uh. Yeah, well, have fun celebrating his birthday more. Hopefully it goes over well. Okay, and Julieta, welcome back to class. How's it going? <laughs> Julieta, are you there? Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Uh, Christian, how are you? Good evening, Joshua. How are you and you? Fine. Nice. Good to hear. Um, sorry, Flower. I'm going to have to mute you, too. Uh, Christian, what have you been up to today? Uh, sorry, I can't hear you very well. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, what have you been up to today? What have you done today? Oh, yes. I stay at home today, and uh, I play with my, <laughs> I played with my computer, you know. Okay, nice. Stay at home, play with the computer. Were yeah. you playing games, or were you actually like playing just around? No, 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 no. I um, I follow some uh, formation with the computer. You know, formation about IT and uh, process and process management. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not. I, I'm working. I'm I'm working with. Yeah. I'm not playing. I'm working. <laughs> One. Okay. So I guess the difference. I played on my computer would kind of imply that you were playing a game, but if you played around on your computer, you could say, that could work in terms of like studying or learning about something. So I played around on my computer a little bit. Um, so just like doing things would be playing around. Does that make sense? I, I can hear you. You have uh, some noise in the channel, something. Hmm. Does anybody else get any noise or feedback? Yeah, I think it's clear. Yeah. I'm using the right microphone, at least. It might be your connection, Christian. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. How I okay, I check. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. So yeah, I would just say I played around on my computer. So you need the preposition around. Um, okay. And Jose, how are you? Hello, yes, well, I'm doing very well, and you? I'm yeah. laughing. Yeah, nice. Uh, and Jose, what have you been up to today? Uh, I guess, uh, since I saw you last, more studying? Yes. Uh, in, in, in the morning I was working, and in the afternoon I, I had a, 
and the people are class with you, and now we're on the other class. Okay. Did you have a long weekend over the weekend as well? I know. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. It, it was a long time weekend. Cool. That's how it was fun. Um, okay, Edson, how are you? I'm mean, fine, and you? Doing well. Nice to see you again. Uh, you too. Thanks. What have you been up to today, Edson? I'm studying English because I'm gonna I'm gonna take TOEFL on Friday, and it's a pretty terrible <laughs> for me. Yeah, it's <laughs> nerve wracking. Yeah, I'm pretty scared about the the test, okay. but. I think you'll do fine. Uh, good luck. I hope. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely nerve nerve wracking though. Mm -hmm. uh, and flower, flower, how are you? And flower, your microphone is muted. Yes. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Uh, Flower, uh, how would you like me to call you? Flower? Yes, teacher, I can't hear you. Uh, can you hear me now? No. Um, I'm not sure why you can't hear me. Can everybody else hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I can't hear you very well. Okay. Yeah, Flower, I'm not sure Flower. why you can't hear me. Um, yes, teacher, now I hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah, Flower, what would you like me to call you? Uh, Flower, is that what I should call you? Um, I want to learn English. Uh, my English not okay. <laughs> okay, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Flower. Okay, and Flower. <laughs> Where are you in from? In Arabic. I'm uh, from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, okay. Um, what do you like to do for fun? What do you do in your free time? Mm, for enjoyment. What do you like to do to enjoy yourself? Um, so, like... I like to read, so books. I like to read um, for my free time. So, what do you like to do for fun to enjoy yourself? Do you like to read? Mm, probably. I think your connection bad. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, flower. I think your connection's a little bit off. Um, maybe. Welcome back, Christian. Uh, Anastasia, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello to everybody. Hello. Uh, I'm uh, uh, the first time on your lesson. I'm very glad to visit it. Yeah, it's good to have you. Um, and Anastasia, where are you from? Uh, actually, uh, I'm from Russia, from Moscow, but uh, now at this moment I live in Paris for uh, half a year, I think, yes. And uh, so, but originally I'm from Russia. Okay, how do you like Paris? Oh, I like it so much. It's a nice. uh, very beautiful city. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Paris is a pretty place. At least I've heard. I've never been to Paris, so I don't really know. Um, okay, and what do you like to do for fun, Anastasia? What do you like to do? Oh, uh, I have um, my favorite hobby. Uh, if I have uh, any free time, I always do it. I like to dance, and uh, usually if I um, find uh, some... Uh, uh, space in my uh, schedule, I try to visit dance classes. <laughs> okay, dancing, nice, that's awesome. Um, in my schedule, can you repeat schedule? <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, what I can say, in my working uh, schedule, no, I, I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like schedule, one more time, so ske ah, okay. my schedule. Mm-hmm. Can you repeat it one more time? Schedule? Uh, 
schedule. Good. Schedule. Nice. Schedule. And Julietta, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Ah, nice. Uh, how's your day been? Yeah, it's going well, thank you. Nice. Still enjoying London? Yes. Okay. Um, A little bit disappointed. Why? Why? <laughs> because I, I searched for a good tortillas, but I didn't find them. Tortillas? Mm-hmm. Huh. I guess tortillas in London might be a little bit tricky to find. Um, yeah. Corn tortillas or flour tortillas? Corn. Hmm. You could always make them. They have. I'm sure they have like corn. <laughs> um, making corn tortillas <laughs> isn't too hard. It's kind of fun. It's a little bit of salt. Um, I didn't try to, to do that, but maybe. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. That's my vote. I think you should make corn tortillas. Um, <laughs> okay, we both good. And let's get started. I think that's everybody. <laughs> it's better to buy them. <laughs> Making corn tortillas is super easy. It's not that hard. Um, yeah, and buying them, nah. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Ksenia, can you read the title and the next lines? The news. Today we will discuss news-related topics, read comics, read and discuss news stories, and practice role plays. Nice. And... Ksenia, can you ask Jose the first question? Jose, what news story are you following now? Jose? Yes, I'm here. Uh, um, the news story that I are following now is uh, in... I don't know why I'm following the news on Syria, because Syria is in trouble and the people is... Uh, getting away from Syria. People are fleeing Syria? Yes, are fleeing Syria, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're following and, the news. And, yes, and then the, the, the people when fleeing from Syria, they are going to, to other uh, countries. And the European Union uh, uh, I think uh, the, they don't know how to solve uh, this uh, problem. The EU doesn't. Ah, okay. No. The European Union doesn't know how to solve the problem, this problem. Okay. Ksenia, what's the terrible news in Russia? Uh, one guy on his uh, CRV uh, run he hit the beer uh, in um, so he he wanted to do it in purpose uh, the beer was still alive and this man started to hit him with his foot but uh, finally the beer escaped and he started attacked he started to attack this man so this man uh, skipped to his uh, CRV and the bear with injuries uh, ran to the forest. Oh, was it on video? Yes, it's on the video on YouTube. Uh, um, CRV. Um, what is a CRV? It's a jeep, like jeep. No, I'm wrong. Um, it's like big uh, car. Okay, ATV. ATV. Oh, well, yes. maybe, or um, eh, SUV. Sorry. Yes, SUV. Mm -hmm. SUV. It's <laughs> <Right. laughs> for a utility vehicle, I think. Um, CRV is a Honda. A CRV is like a Honda CRV. Yes, yes, I missed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Okay, yeah, that sounds awful. Um, definitely a crazy man. Okay, and... Hmm. Jose, can you make up a question about the news to ask Judetta? 
So make up your own question, Jose. Jose? Your microphone is muted, Jose. All right, maybe Ksenia. Can you make up a question to ask Julieta? Mm, I can't see the question. Can you make up a question? So make I'll your own. Make up. Mm, Julieta, can you um, say are some interesting new stories in use? Tell us. Okay. Can you tell us an interesting news story? Yeah, that would work. Julieta? I can tell you about what um, uh, a new law in Italy probably um, they they voted uh, to change uh, uh, the law about uh, become a citizen. So it seems that uh, could be possible for new children born in uh, Italy from um from um foreign parent who has a a work in uh, Italy and is legal to become Italian. So it's kind of I use solely. How do you call that? It's kind of a what? Use solely. We call it that way. A new story. Use sorry. Oh, I have um like a native-born citizen. Um, I'm not sh sure. Use mm. is kind of right, and sorry is kind of country, maybe. Like a birthright citizenship. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because now in Italy, you are Italian only if you have an Italian parent. Oh, I did not know that. Um, yeah, I think we'd yeah. say birthright citizenship. Mm -hmm. So it's if you're born in the country. I think in the U.S. it's you silly. Wow, yeah. Interesting. I hadn't heard of just solely before, but cool. Uh. Yeah, you need to change become to the gerund. Becoming. Yeah. Okay. And Julieta, can you ask Edson the next question? Edson, what do you think is the most important thing the news should report? Well, the news should report like um, good good news because just bad news we can see on TV on the radio journal as well we always I see bad news in around the world but good news like just is just a little bit like if you wanna if you wanna um, if you wanna see good news, you need to you need to go to the magazine magazine no magazine as well and some part of the journal. I, I I make this online. Some online newspapers. Yeah yeah. Okay yeah so a journal. It's a little bit off. We would we would tend to call them newspapers. Um, the news should report like good news because um, just bad news we can see on TV maybe we can only see we only ever see bad news on TV mm -hmm. ever see bad news on TV on the radio I'll see bad news, but good news. Ah, um, good news is little. We always see bad news, but good news is scarce. 
Mm -hmm. or is less common. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Not little, but less common. If you want to see good news, you need to go to a magazine or some online newspapers. Okay. So it's important to report good news. I think that's yes. good. And Anastasia, what do you think? What's the most important thing that the news should report? Anastasia? You do hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. Um, I think that uh, it should be balanced. Uh, we should uh, listen to different points of views and uh, um, to make decisions uh, from different aspects. So we, we need uh, um, to know uh, all news as good, uh, uh, also uh, bad, and um, but uh, it's uh, really so that uh, negative news are dominant uh, in our uh, in our uh, days. And uh, for example, when we start to discuss this topic, I try to. Uh, browse uh, some good news and uh, <laughs> it's uh, really <laughs> uh, difficult to find something uh, funny and uh, good <laughs> around uh, a lot of um, uh, usual political and um, uh, war stuff. Okay, yeah, definitely. Nice. Um... We need to know all the news, the good and the bad. You said, but it's really what negative news is dominant in our days? Um, uh, I I don't remember. <laughs> uh, um, ah, it's really important to uh, to know news uh, from uh, different aspects. Okay. Yeah, we should listen to different points of view and make decisions. Ah, yes, oh, I didn't remember what I say. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Perspectives, maybe we didn't. Um, maybe it seems like negative news is dominant these days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that sound better? And then I tried to browse. So when we started th talking about the subject, I tried to browse for mm -hmm. some good news, but it's really difficult to find to find anything. Mm -hmm. But good, really nice job. Does anybody have any questions here? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Um, and Anna Valen, can you read through the words? Mass media, documentary, breaking news, broadcast, la years, I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> it's okay. Columnist, editorial, anchor, manipulate. Nice. Okay. Really good work. A couple of small things. Documentary, documentary. 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 Um, plagiarize? Plagiar? Plagiarize. Plagiarize. Good. Columnist. Columnist. Mm -hmm. And editorial. Editorial. Good. Questions. Does anybody have any questions about any of these words? Okay. Maybe we. Uh, I don't know the word anchor. What it's mean? Okay. Who knows what an anchor is? Maybe it's a main um, article in the magazine um, or newspaper or something like that. Because anchor is just a part of the ship. Yes, yes, I know part of the ship, but I don't know in this context. <laughs> Is really the person good guess. who appears in front of the camera reading the news? 
uh, front of the camera reading the news. This is perfect. Uh, it's a little bit more than that. Can you add anything else, Amp? Um, well, it's the face that we, we see. It is the face that you see. Mm, let's look. Um, it's <laughs> We have also a correspondent. So we've got the anchors. These are the anchors. And... So it's the person who sits behind the desk it would generally be the anchor. And then they go to correspondents who are elsewhere. So it goes from the anchor to the correspondent, then back to the anchor. So generally, we'll start here, we we'll go here, we'll come back here, and go to the anchor, then come back, and then go to another anchor and come back, or to another correspondent. So these are correspondents, and the anchors are here. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. OK. Um, and Ksenia, really good guess with like the main article. A um, little bit off, but really, really good guess. Um, any other questions? OK. Anna Belen, what's it mean to plagiarize something? What's plagiarize mean? When you copy something for who write another person. Yeah, when you copy like intellectual property of another person. So it could be writing, it could be like video, or it could be, um, yeah. Yeah. Any kind of cre creation. Yeah, any kind of creation. If you're stealing that, you're plagiarizing. Um, I think it's most often used with writing, so yeah. But really nicely done. Um, and if there are no other questions, let's go on. Um, OK. What? OK. Sorry. Um, let's go here, and let's have AMP. Can you read this first part, the first paragraph? OK. What to say when you have a voicemail, but not me is called? Something's off here. Yesterday, Washington Post reported Jason Rizain was reportedly convicted by a court in Iran, but Iran won't release any details about his conviction. Shocker. Rizain was arrested about a year ago and charged with things like spying for the U.S. Zion and the Washington Post say not true at all. This comes amid the U.S.-Iran relationship at gray from non-existent to it's complicated. <laughs> nice. Um, this comes amid the U.S.-Iran relationship upgrade from non-existent to it's complicated. Can you repeat the last sentence? Okay. This comes amid the U.S.-Iran relationship a gray from non-existent to it's complicated. Good. Nice. Um, when you have a voicemail but no missed call. Uh, you have voicemail but no missed call. Nice. Okay. And let's have Ksenia. Can you read the next bit? And the countries agreed on a nuclear deal earlier this year. And recently, Iran's president has been taking talking about a prisoner swap that would release American prisoners like Rizem in exchange for Iranian prisoners being held by the U.S. So Rizem's conviction could be Iran nudging the U.S. to the prisoner swap table during the conflict contributing to the epic refugee crisis in the oh, EU, wow. right? Sorry, that's, yeah, I don't know how that got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was really good, I was like, wait a second, um, yeah, sorry, to the, US, the prisoner swap table. Good, <laughs> good reading, Ksenia, sorry about that. Um, questions, does anybody have any questions here?
Nudging. Nudging. Does anybody know what nudging means? Um, so, I guess this is a good picture, or as good of a picture as any. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, if we look, probably won't work. Yeah. So, if we look at this, this is a sheep nudging a little baby sheep, uh, or a lamb. Um, so, it's like a, a slight push would be a nudge. It's a slight push. Make sense? Yep. Okay. And any other questions? Uh, maybe a um, swap table. I don't know what is it. Okay. The prisoner swap table. Um, does anybody think they could explain that? It's like table with two different sides. On one side, one country, the other side as a country and they are discussing the problem maybe to exchange of prisoners something like that yeah so we've got uh, exactly so you've got US prisoners on one side and then Iranian prisoners on the other side and so they meet at the table and they're like trying to exchange um, so this is a swap is just a exchange mm -hmm. so you're sending them one way and the others are sending them the other make sense yes yeah okay and any other questions okay um and what do you think about this Jose what do you think about the um, the reporter being taken prisoner and convicted in court. What do you think about it? Do you think he was spying? Do you think he wasn't spying? I think he was a spy and just is a good case to uh, come back of Iranian guys. Sorry, can you repeat that? No, I think it wasn't a spy. I think it's ah. uh, just a Case good. I think it wasn't. I don't that's think. Why, yeah, I don't think. That's yeah, one that's of the right. reasons. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. No, think. I understand. Yeah. I don't think you are the spy. I think just the Iranian government uh, make it up to made. do made it up to made a deal with. Uh, Swap. Okay, uh, to make, of make a swap. Just make a swap. Or to yeah. make a deal. Or to f mm, try to swap him. Yes, and when we read this news, I, I remember one to be show Homeland. It's like this story. <laughs> The same yeah. story. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's an unfortunate story and really yeah. Journalists. Um yeah, okay. What do you think, Jose? Are you there, Jose? Yes, I'm here. Okay. I guess yeah, what do you think about the story? Do you think it's reasonable that he was taken prisoner and convicted in court? No, um, I, I I think it's not uh, reasonable that this person was in, in prison. Okay. Yeah. And do you think it's something that happens a lot? Do you think it's yes, something that some, some, sometimes it happens a lot, but I think it's not uh, reasonable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're good. Does it? I don't think we had any other questions. We could. Let's have Jose. Can you read this first part? Okay. What people are watching? Turkey on Saturday, twin bombings in the country's capital killed at least 950 people. It was the worst attack ever in Turkey. The attack happened at a peace rally calling for an end to violence between a Turkish group called the Kurdistan Workers Party, 
PKK and the Turkish government. The two have been fighting for years, but it's recently gotten worse. No one's claimed responsibility for the attacks, but officials are investigating whether ISIS is involved. Meanwhile, rallies have broken out against Turkish President Erdogan for not doing enough to keep the country secure, just in time for an election next month. Okay, uh, let's look at violence. 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 Uh, officials. Officials, officials, officials. And then ISIS. ISIS. Mm, secure. 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 Okay. Secure. Yeah. Um, Judith, what do you think about this one? Do you, what do you think will happen in the election? Who do you think was responsible for the bombings? Do you think it was ISIS? I mean, what do you th what do you think here? I don't know. It could be ISIS, and it could be an adversary of um, the uh, act actually actual president. President. It could be what of the actual president? And um, the opponent. Okay, the opponent of, of the president. Point. Of the president. Okay. Yeah. What do you think will happen with the country's vote? Do you think the president will be reelected? Do you think he won't be reelected? Um, yeah. I guess. What do you think about Turkey? Um, uh, if violence big. will increase, of course. Yeah, but if violence will increase in the next month. Probably it increases mm, yeah. in the next month. Uh, the president uh, will not be reelected. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a pretty sound judgment. Just because this is the conditional statement, um, that first conditional, if it does, then it will. So the will is in the second. But nice. Okay, um, and I guess Edson, can you read the next little story? What to say if you spend too much over the weekend? Go big or go home. Yesterday, Dell announced it's buying data storage company EMC for $67 billion. That's the biggest tech deal ever and the big win for Dell. For years, it has been trying to transmit, transition from a company that sells PCs to a company that can help a business out with its IT needs. That is why it swept right on EMC. EMC one of the largest storage system providers in the world with business turning to cloud companies like Amazon for cheaper storage both Dell and EMC haven't been doing so well recently together they are hoping to get out of a deal pick, uh, pickle yeah Okay, um, so this is a little bit tricky. Uh, let's look at businesses. Can you repeat businesses? Businesses. Uh, and world? World. And that's why it swiped right. What? That's why okay. it swiped right. That's why it swiped right. Swiped. 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 Good. Swiped. Um, OK. So questions here. I'm sure there will be some questions. Does anybody yeah. have any? What is swept right? Good. Does anybody know? This is a little bit vague. Does anybody know what swiped right means? 
or any guesses? Okay, so mm, does anybody know what Tinder is? No. Okay, Tinder is like, oh gosh, come on, like a romance application for a smartphone. And so what happens with Tinder is that you have a picture of somebody, a little bit of information, and you can either swipe right, which is like, I think this person is somebody who I like, or you can swipe left, which is somebody who you don't like. So don't like is left, and like is right. And so what's happening here is that Dell has like kind of swiped right. It said it likes EMC. Um, so it has purchased um, EMC. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, yeah, so Tinder reference. Uh, any other questions? A Dell pickle? Does anybody know what a Dell pickle is? Is it Dell is the company or not? Dell is the company, and so this is a pun. So what we have here is a dill pickle. This is a dill pickle. Um, and so... It's, um, I don't know, difficult... Uh, uh, Difficult. I know it uh, as a difficult situation, this word pickle. No? Yeah. A pickle is a difficult situation. And so dill pickle is just a little bit more specific. It, it he, They just use it for the pun because it sounds funny. It's a dill pickle instead of a, just a pickle would be a difficult situation. Um, and so they're using the pun on dill, which is a specific type of pickle. Um, yeah, that's good. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, and Anastasia, what's happening here? So, can you summarize this story? Um, about uh, Dell and non enrichment. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, I I'm not very good uh, uh, at this topic, but uh, um, as uh, news uh, announce, it's a very big uh, deal that uh, Dell uh, bought uh, this uh, data storage company, and um, it's a, it's a really. Uh, I don't know victory for its company, and um, okay. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Why did Dell buy the company? Why did they buy it? It's uh, it's needed for IT needs, no? Um, yeah, sort of. Can anybody explain why Dell bought this company? Um, because uh, it's uh, the most important and uh, the biggest uh, storage system. Okay, so it's the, a big storage system company. Um, yeah, yeah. Anybody with more information? Probably because the company wants to like dominate the the not trade but the commerce uh, between them or uh, be among the uh, other other companies. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, anybody else? Uh, for Dell, it's important because Dell only sells PCs, 
and with the buy of, of EMC, now she can provide the company with a business, she can provide, uh, it can provide business services. Nice, yeah, it can provide more business services because that's what they've been trying to do. So it's been trying to provide more business services um, to help businesses out with their IT needs. And yeah, so that's why they chose EMC because it will help them provide business services. Um, yeah, and they also purchased it because other companies have been doing it a little bit differently, and so they kind of want to help firm up the market a little bit. So they need to join forces to do better against other companies. Anyways, that was good. Uh, does anybody have any questions here? Okay, I'm going to go into some questions maybe. Get rid of the pictures. Um, Anastasia, can you ask Anna-Len the first question? Okay, uh, do you think that reading a newspaper is a good way to improve your English? Um, actually, yes, oh, if you... Sorry, Anastasia. Can you ah, just, I, I can should you just ask? ask it? Ah, yeah. okay. Um, who wants to answer? <laughs> do Anna-Len. Maybe Julietta? Uh, sorry, so just the next person in line would be Anna Valen. So can ah, you just ask Anna Valen? Uh, I didn't see the line. Can you help me? Yeah, that's okay. Um, so the next person is Anna Valen. Anna Valen, uh, please answer the question. Okay. Um, yes, I think it's a good way to improve my English. The problem is that uh, maybe the English in the news uh, could be uh, could have um, an advanced levels level for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the English in the news could have an advanced level. Is it something that you do? Do you try to read the news? Um, yes, I read the news in English in my job, but uh, I usually listen to the news uh, because it's the best way to improve my listening skills. Mm -hmm. Best way to improve my listening skills. And it's important because you listen to all kind of all type of accent. Yeah, yeah, you listen to all types of accents. Um, okay, good. Amp, can you think of anything else? Um, any other good ways to improve your listening skills? Or is there anything else that you do? Uh, furthermore, they do listen to the news. Well, it's uh, to listen to podcasts. Uh -huh. Or audiobooks. Or Are there any that you listen to? Listen to music uh, in English. Uh -huh. Or just okay. watching movies. Or just watching what? Movies. Movies. Okay. Which ones do you do? Generally, uh, listening to the news um, or in watching movies. Okay. Generally, listen to the news. Mm, this is a really good sentence, especially for an answer. How would you make it a complete sentence so it stands alone? Uh, li generally, listening to the news and watching movies are my favorite. Okay, nice. TV <laughs> are my favorites? Or, or my favorite activities. Okay. Improve. Okay. Nice. And Amp, can you ask Xenia this third question? Okay. Xenia, do you trust the information you get from the news? Mm, trust, but check. I don't know. 
maybe I trust, but I don't pay it. I don't pay attention on use anymore because I don't like it to watch, and I don't have actually time to do it. So I'm always in a good mood since I haven't seen news. I say I can say this. Okay. So I'm Mm. I don't. Since I haven't seen, oh, okay. Haven't seen the news. Yes. Okay. Um. I've been always. Yeah, I've been. I've mm. been in a good mood since I haven't been watching. Uh, maybe since I have stopped. Okay, you could say, what? yeah. Mm. Okay. Since I've stopped watching the news. Yes. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I trust pronoun. I trust them. Trust them. It. It. Yeah. But I don't pay attention. Not on. To? At to. To. To the news. Anymore? I don't like to watch. I don't like to watch pronoun. It. Yeah. I don't have time to do it. Good. Nice. And Xenia, can you ask Jose the last question? Sam, what would the world be like without news? I think uh, the world uh, will be so much different because information is power and if the people who is uh, managing the, the countries uh, uh, don't have enough, enough information to make decisions in the proper way, they they'll commit uh, so much uh, mistakes. You will commit the, um, so many. So ah, sorry, yes, so many mistakes. So many mistakes. Okay. Because, because it's contable. Yes. Because yeah. Okay. Um. So many mistakes. I think the world would be so much different because information is power. If you manage countries, don't have enough information. Okay, good. Judith, uh, how would you add to that? How else will the world be different? Without news. Okay, I think that the world without news will be boring in a certain way and uh, close and uh, little and uh, little. Sorry? Little, not neutral. Ma no, uh, natural. A little. Neutral. Neutral. Closed and little. Yeah. Okay. Can you explain a little bit more? I mean that uh, without no news out of your uh, little piece of place, you will be um, uh, I mean you will never know that uh, there are I don't know um, things after your little place outside of and so outside your little place Okay. 
Yeah. So the world would be closed and little. More closed and smaller, for sure, too. Okay. I think that's good. Um, we are unfortunately out of time. Uh, does anybody have any last questions before we finish up really quickly? Yes, yeah, I have. Um, instead of commit the verb, uh, it would be better to change for make because I think probably commit is related to crime. Yeah. Um, commit would be more related to crime. You could commit a mistake um, as well. So it could be either. I think make would be a little bit more common, but commit is fine. Really good point. Um, yeah, I think make would be more common, but both are correct. Any other questions? All right. Thank you guys for coming in. Um, got another class right after this. If you guys want to join, love to have you. And yeah, have a good day. And